Okay, and we're going. Okay, hi, my name's Abby Hardingham and I play Heather Ma That's a really bad start, I should know my character's name. Heather Matthews, um, and she play she's 16 years old and her older brother is Dennis Matthews, who's the redhead. Um, she's a bit of a bitch, she likes to play games with people, but she's actually quite naive and she's actually like struggling with her own identity, which I think is sort of like what Fruit's about. Great, how did yeah. you, you get the part? Um, do you know what, I'd been to a party the night before and I got told I had an audition and I woke up around my friend's house and I was like, oh god, like, I'm really tired, am I going to go for this? And my mum called me up and she's like, Abby, go for this interview. And I was like, okay, I will, I will. And I went up and um, Sean's like, partner hadn't turned up, so I went in with Sean and um, we just read some scripts because they, they didn't have any material for freaks, so we did like a couple of, like they were adult scripts like about a woman meeting a man in a, in a bar and stuff. So we did that a couple of times. They just asked us a few questions like, um, if we were in a film, who would we, like, who would we want to play? So I was like, I want to play Edie Sedgwick in Factory Girl, Tomb Raider, and Al Pacino in, in The Godfather, which is like not possible because I'm a girl. Um, <clears throat> so they were really confused because I had like tomboy edge, but obviously I wanted to play like a fashionista as well. So they actually, there was only like two female roles, um, Georgina's part and Ashley's part. So they actually, they wrote Heather in the script for myself, which was like the highest compliment that anyone can ever give me. They wanted me that much. Yeah. Tell us about the shoes. The shoes? <laughs> the shoes? Oh god, you're going to make me redo it again, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Well, I bought them today, and they're Velcro, as you can see, and I was just sort of like, you know, walking along as you do in my bag and my sister. Um, and then I got to um, the top of the stairs, and escalators are shut in Southgate where I live, so I had to like go down the stairs. It's like, flights of stairs and I went down and my ankles buckled and all of the velcro came out so, and there was like a queue of people behind me so I went on the left hand side which is actually where you know people want to be in a rush so I sort of ran around a little bit did them again and started again <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but how yeah, much were they? I don't, I don't say <laughs> I didn't realise right so what I was going to do is this is really bad but I was, what I do sometimes is I buy clothes and if you know I'll wash them and then I'll return them Oh. Like, I'm not that rich, so I have to return things. But um, I found that my sister was like, no, no, you can't return shoes. So I was like, damn it, I'm going to have to keep them on. I was like, oh well. What's the most expensive thing you've ever washed and returned? Um, it was a Kate Moss prom dress. How much was it? It was um, 175. I sort of just like washed it a little bit because you couldn't, it was like silky and had like. Did you leave the labels on them? Yeah, because you like the Kate Moss one for like. Um, Oh, what are they called, you know, safety pinned on, so I sort of yeah. pinned that back on, put it back on the hanger, and I was like, I'm really sorry, but um, I, I thought it would fit. I was in a rush yesterday to try it on, didn't try it on, didn't fit. But, um, <laughs> everyone loved that dress, <laughs> and I don't have it anymore, and I really wish I did, because that would have been, you know, really appropriate for tonight, except for its full length, which, you know, maybe isn't appropriate. Oh, brilliant, I think that's, cool. yeah. yeah. Is that cool. everything? Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm such a mess.